Uh, looking back on you know this experience sailing with Eric and you know our results uh, at the 2012 Olympic Games, um, you know we, we definitely had some ups and downs. We we won an Olympic race. Um, you know we got second in another one, and we also had some um, you know some deep ones. And the fleet is so tight. Uh, we were doing you know a variety of different courses. Uh, some were W4s uh, with a reach finish which is quite difficult and so um, you know it was, it was definitely mixed up uh, and we you know we found ourselves sometimes uh, feeling really really good about ourselves and, and the decision we were making and then you know other times uh, you know we were on the wrong end of the stick uh, so but I mean at the end this whole experience being a part of the US sailing team Sperry Topsider uh, being at the Olympic Games representing the USA and all the people that uh, that are behind us it's been an unbelievable experience, one that will be a, you know, a lifetime memory of mine, and I know Eric's as well, and we'll, you know, we have no regrets whatsoever for, for how we did. You know, Eric and I have been teammates now for four years. Uh, prior to this, we have been competitors and friends since we were, uh, you know, just youth sailors, just starting to sail the Optimus Dinghy. Uh, you know, I've, I've grown to really have a great appreciation for Eric, uh, his strengths, you know, we, I don't think we could have ever run a more perfect campaign as far as logistics and as far as all the details. Like he, is, he has been phenomenal with making sure that every detail has been put together. And uh, you know, I think that our campaign has been top notch ever since we got to, we stepped foot together. You know, it's, I'm going to take a little bit of time to decompress, but uh, it's kind of addicting. Um, you know, I definitely want to spend more time in the States, and so if I do choose to do another campaign, I, I'm going to make sure that I spend a, quite a bit more time back stateside rather than spending so much in Europe. But, uh, you know, I think it might be in the future. We'll, uh, we'll just see kind of where it takes us. Uh, i got to first start off with getting some shoulder surgery. Uh, that's going to be coming up. I've been dealing with a uh, shoulder ligament tear for the past six months. And that hasn't been easy by any means. I'm gonna get that repaired, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there and see see what we can put together. Uh, you know, going forward to 2016. But we've learned a lot this quad, and I know we can put those uh, those lessons into into future events and hopefully the 2016 games. I think the most proud moment that I've felt here at the games was when we were on our way to the opening ceremonies. And there were hundreds of little kids that were, you know, surrounding the uh, path toward the, the entrance of the Olympic Games, and they were chanting USA. Um, and to hear that, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, it gives you chills, and just to know how how many people are standing behind you, it's it's fantastic. Couldn't have asked for a greater experience.